now that we have successfully connected to the SACULA database, I will briefly describe the difference between the terms database and schema. A database can be considered as the physical structure where we store our source system data, while a schema is often referred to as the logical business representation of the data. In addition to databases and schemas, we also have a similar concept for tables and views. Where a table will be a raw representation of data from a source system, and a view will be the logical business representation of that data. For example, in the SACULA database, we have a number of logical views that can be queried the same as if we were accessing a physical table. One such view is the actor info view, which is a query that combines four tables together. The actor table, the film actor table, the film category table, and the category table which is combined into a single query view to provide us with movies that an actor has starred in and having such a logical view saves a user from having to write their own queries to identify such views of information. This also ensures that correct business logic is applied where there are often cases that a single view of data or business representation may be interpreted differently across a business. Having such logical views means that a business's end users will be accessing the same consistent logical data representation across the whole business. Typically, data analysts or business analysts will work directly alongside business subject matter experts, SMEs, to build out such business models. So while the source system data can be stored in a number of physical tables in a database or data warehouse, this is not always the best way to represent the data to the business, and hence we have logical views that are placed on top of the physical tables to ensure accurate business representations. As a business analyst, it will be your job to interpret the business requirements and produce such a final output. Final outputs, such as logical views, can then be used by other analysts to ensure that their reports and dashboards meet the gold standard of the business. A gold standard report can be considered as a logical representation of a business data model that is accepted across an entire business, which other analysts can then refer to when testing their own analysis. To summarize, a database and table can be considered as the physical implementation of a source system's data, while schemas and views act as our logical business representations. That's all for now in this section and I'll see you in the next section.